All right, guys, I'm back again with another episode of Little Big Planet Card Games gameplay series. As we're now back to now tackle through the third cup in the special Grand Prix. Now, recently we just tackled through the Cream Cup last time, and we're going to now encounter our third special Grand Prix cup, which is honestly one of the more difficult ones we're going to have to deal with. So hopefully we'll be able to take it out with no issues. But with that being said, let's go. All right, so to begin this next cup, which is of course the Starfish Cup, we're going to begin by using another original character of mine that I designed for this cup. In this case, Pink Lover. That's the one I'm using for this next track. And as for the vehicle that I'm going to be selecting for this girl, let's see, um, uh, doesn't seem like I have that many card options left. Hmm. I think I'm going to use the cleaning time vehicle, and I'll choose it in the hover setting. That's what I'll pick. Anyways, time to head over to Midnight Coliseum. This is the first track of the Starfish Cup, which is kind of like the hard cup for the special entry for pro levels of players. And of course, this marks as the first track of the Starfish Cup. This is basically a harder variation of Wario Coliseum from the special cup, since it takes place at night, of course. But anyway, let's go. All right, let's go. Music is the same like before. Same rank as before. Get it in time. Ugh. I'm still first though. Really? Really? Man, they're really trying to come out for your girl. It's ridiculous. I mean, this is only the first track, and already they're coming for your girl. No rocket, seriously? Yeah, they were really coming for your girl, for your boy, man. It's ridiculous. Well, at least we completed the first track. That's all that matters. Well, with that first one out of the way, moving on to the next one. Okay, time to move on to our next track now just so happening to be a little bit different from the last one that we tackled. As this next track is actually another originally made track, and we are going to be using 
Robo Butler for this next course. Mainly because I think he seems to be the perfect choice of character for this next track, so why not? As for the vehicle that we're going to be selecting for this fellow, we are going to be choosing him in the... Uh, let me see. Um, yeah, we'll choose the Tin Can card, and we'll choose it in the low rider setting. Because who doesn't like a ro low rider Tin Can, eh? Anyway, moving onwards to our next track now. Just so happening to be... I know the track is in here somewhere, hold on. Here it is, Nighty Thread Pass. This is the second track of the Starfish Cup and is another originally made course. So let's go ahead and do this thing. Nighty Thread Pass, here I come. Let's go. Let's go. The gears here are a bit different because the snowmen here are designed to be created a bit differently. <laughs> in my luck. Alright, that's another course taken down. I will take it. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, two down, two more tracks to go. Let's see what the next one is. Alright, onwards we go now 
on to our next track, just so happening to be another harder variation of a previous chord. And this time, we'll be using another originally made character of, not, of mine, Japan. This is the next one that we're going to be using for this course. And obviously, we're going to use him in the bento box, considering that he is Japanese, so why not? As for the vehicle parts, I'm going to go for a um, tank setting this time. Or actually, no, 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 we'll go for a hover setting. Hover it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and meet our next track. Next up just so happens to be a harder variation of Toadette Bridge, known as Toadsworth Bridge. And the only reason this is harder is because there's a segment that has been blocked off a little bit. You'll see what I'm talking about as soon as we get into it. But anyway, time to move on to the third racetrack of the Starfish Cup. Let's go. in a row so far that we won. Alright, onwards to our last and final one. Alright, time for our last and final track, just so happening to be a little bit of a different but much more difficult version of, of Sidestepper Ocean, which we, we are going to get into right now. And for the character of our choice, we're going to choose Juice for this one. As for his choice of vehicle, we're going to choose the here the ocean again. The only change is that, the, that is the fact that I'm going to change this from a stock kind of deal to a dragster car. That's the only difference. Anyways, here we are in cheap cheap ocean. This is a much longer and harder variation of Sidestepper Beach. And you're going to see in just a minute why that's the case. Time to enter the final race track of the Starfish Cup to wrap this episode up. Let's go. Okay, 
It does contain the same music as before, but one of the biggest differences is the fact that there is no railing at all in the stage. And the fact that there is, of course, a lot of red side steppers. And, of course, there is a bunch of water, piranhas, and other obstacles that will get in your way. So it's very easy to fall off of this course if we're not careful. So, yeah. It also contains four labs, much similar to the previous track, but it doesn't make it any easier, so you need to be very careful. It also contains three side steppers, uh, three Goombas, so yeah. And one gigantic side of um, these side steppers, so you go lap two. There's also much more octopus tentacles than before, so. Darn it! I stopped. I was trying to go off the side so I could do the thing and then I could do it. My bad. Okay, somehow I got hit there, so... But like I said, this is one of the more difficult courses to try to get used to because of the amount of boss in the way. Lap three. Ooh, he was really close to getting me. tough one, but we were still able to win. Whew, that was a really tricky one to win, but we were still able to win nonetheless. So I will accept it. Despite how tough it was to get it. Well, that's all the tracks in the Starfish Cup. Alright guys, that's about all the tracks that I can cover for this episode. There is one more cup we have to go through, which will get released on the 29th of October. So, even though we might be done with the Starfish Cup, there is one more cup we have left. One last cup. What is this last one going to be? We'll find out as soon as the final episode gets released. So until then, guys, I'll see you next time. Until next time, bye.